Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and right now I'm basically going to show you a rune crafting guide for your Iron Man, okay? So first steps I'm going to go over is uh, how to get pure essence, okay, in the most efficient way. There's two uh, methods I really recommend uh, before you start getting a high Slayer level. Um, when you start getting to, let's say, uh, 70 to 75 Slayer, I'm not very sure what gargoyles are, but when you start getting gargoyles, um, what am I clicking? You start getting a lot more pure essence and it becomes easier. Also skeletal wyvern. So around 72, 75 slayers when you're going to start getting some pure essence. Abyssal demons drop pure essence. And of course when you get to Zora, pure essence will no longer be a problem at all. So how can you do rune crafting as a lower level on Iron Man? The first thing I recommend is go ahead and do the quest Eyes of Glyphir. I don't know if I pronounced that 100% right, but if you do that quest, it'll get you 20 to 25 rune crafting like that. Getting a mud rune is a pain, but you can do it. It's worth doing. How you gonna get pure essence? The best way to do is in uh, Yanel Bank. You're gonna go to the Magic Guild, and you're gonna you need a requirement of 62 uh, mage. But this is the most efficient way to mine pure essence. Okay, right here. And you're at the pure essence mine, teleport out, and you'll be at the bank. Okay, so that's the best way you can get pure essence. Another, another method, if you hate this, is you can do temple trekking, which will get you some pretty good pure essence. But in most cases, I have always done temple trekking on my Iron Man for bowstring and not pure essence. Uh, you don't want to disregard, uh, you don't want to disregard room crafting as a lower level it's really important for making cosmics and cosmics are great um for basically making some bank per day which i'll show you in my next guide for iron man so right here we're going to talk about what i recommend for the lower room crafting levels and how you can kind of go around not having a glory all right you have some requirements that i i say, i think you need and I'm also going to give some recommendations. What I recommend, but you don't need, is some rune pouches, which you will get by completing the Abyss mini quest, which is required for this method. And um, what I recommend is full graceful. You want to do this as efficient as possible. Okay, and I also recommend on the side, the quest Tears of Guthix done. I know the crafting level to create the Bullseye Lantern is a little bit um, tedious and like overwhelming, but if you get that done, the great thing is that you can do tiers of Guthics once a week. Your time to be able to collect tiers is based off of your quest points, okay? So that's how I have my rune crafting the level it is, not because I do a bunch of rune crafting, but because I attend tiers of Guthics every week and get a free 10k XP, okay, for your lowest level skill. So have rune crafting as your lowest level skill and go there once a week and you get great XP. Rune crafting takes the slowest, it's the slowest level to level in the game, objectively. So have prioritizing it at Tears of Gothics will get you some good XP and level it well. Okay, so how can we do this without a glory? You need to get the Varrock Medium Diaries done. To complete the medium, you need to complete the easy as well. It'll give you some great XP lamps. And it will not only make you accessible to do battle stabs to make you some extra cash on an Iron Man and crafting XP, but what it will also do is it will open you up to this Grand Exchange Teleport, okay? And this is great because you don't have glories to teleport to Edgeville to go to the Abyss, but you can use the Grand Exchange method, which is like, what, six steps longer? It's not that much longer. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We are... I'm going to go ahead and head to the Abyss. Now, this requires the Varrock Diaries and the Abyss mini quest. And I believe this mini quest is a diary requirement, if I'm not mistaken, or it's a quest requirement. So you might as well get it done, right? So here's what you're going to do. You can have your teleport, your staff on here, everything ready. For Hardcore Iron Man, please don't do this. It's not risking PK. Uh, it does happen and for ultimate Iron Man. I have no idea if this is a good method for you. This is for Iron Man in general um, Okay So here we are we're at the abyss and I highly recommend as an Iron Man that you make cosmics And I'll tell you why you can't buy cosmics from a shop They sell at 20 each in a shop 20 cosmics per shop and you have to hop worlds Do you realize how much of a pain that is 
it's not even worth your time, but when you ruin craft, it's worth your time to make cosmics. You need 59 ruin crafting to make double cosmics. That's a high ruin crafting level, and that will take you some good time. But it's worth it in the end, and in the end, you'll be making bank per day. Okay, the pouches will almost give you another inventory full of uh, ruin, uh, pure essence. Also, those pouches, you kill them, you kill the abyssal creatures in the abyss, and they will drop the pouches. Okay, and so then you're going to go back to the Grand Exchange and repeat this process over and over. Once you get a glory, go ahead and mount that glory in your house, and you will have unlimited teleports to the Grand Exchange, and you will be also, also using less air runes. Uh, well, I guess not if you're using an air rune staff. But anyway, this is all I wanted to really point out in this guide, and I hope it really helped you guys. The next guide I'm making is going to be how to make some bank on your Iron Man by doing virtually not much at all. Uh, and to get some great crafting XP added. I'm going to show you basically how I got 86 crafting without doing that much on my account. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I try to post videos when I have the time. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.